this is another episode of Cat Talk. I hope last week brought you everything you wished and dreamed for. Um, my quote for this week says, there is no disaster that can't become a blessing and no blessing that can't become a disaster. Meaning, although you may be at a lower high, never forget that things may take a turn for the better or even for the worse in the blink of an eye. They say, the harder you fall, the higher you bounce. Sometimes life may serve you humble pie and no, you may not think you deserve it, but in the end, you're always okay, right? Think of it like this. It is easy to spot an opportunity when you're always thinking of opportunity. Easy to spot reasons to be mad when you're always thinking of being mad. You become what you constantly think about. That's why you should make it a necessity to think positive. You have something motivational to tell my audience? Sure. Um, first of all, I'm Mr. Yates, standing up for things um, despite how big the adversity is. Thank you so much. Have a great week and go cats. I'm here with Miss KT. Okay, Miss KT, what are five things that help you get stay motivated all week? So the first thing that helps me stay motivated throughout the week, I would say is prayer and meditation. And I know we are in school and I know they took prayer out of the schools, but even though we can't pray aloud, we can always have meditation within our heart. So I think if we get up every single day and start saying positive things to yourself, I'm beautiful, I can go to school today, I'm going to complete my work, I'm going to get to class on time, think positive things within yourself. Um, and that's pretty much what helps me stay motivated on a daily basis. The second thing that helps me stay motivated on a daily basis is um, working out. So I don't know if you see um, Lady Cats basketball. I used to coach for five years middle school. Shout out to Lady Cats coach Edward Wilcox, okay? <laughs> so with my, um, I like to work out and so I feel that students also should have something to help them relieve stress or just make them feel better and so when I do that it makes me feel better within myself. So any type of club that somebody wants to get involved in, sports, um, doing things with their family, just find something that can help you relieve that stress. Um, I think the third thing that helps me with my motivation um, is just to have goals. So if actually, if you look in the back of my classroom, um, I love quotes. And so one of the things that I do with my students on a Friday is I get Friday motivation and they'll watch a five to 10 minute video, um, just helping them to, the last time we watched it was about discipline, I think. And so this quote right here says, people that think wrong, believe wrong, and people that believe wrong, act wrong. So in other words, think right, and then it'll help you do right. So I feel have goals within yourself and that'll keep you motivated. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so this is Miss KT with our tea time. I want to thank you guys for the opportunity. Stay motivated and I'll leave you with this. It's not the situation, it's how you handle it. Stay motivated. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all dearly for watching another episode of Cat Talk. I love each and every one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. And Monday Motivation complete. Until the next time, much love.